the dude said that I looked like a he wondered what monastery I was belonging to when I come in with this so I kind of I got the point actually thanks dude the chlorifier's gone in that well not gone in but that's first fit down the bottom it's been put on the plinth just to just to get the measurement bits right if I want to live on the boat and be as self-sufficient as I can and have the children or guests on the boat then I kind of want the biggest hot water tank chlorifier that I possibly can get and what stands up right right in the corner that's going to produce me quite a lot of water um, and is free when the engine's running and as I plan to continuously cruise I hope I hope to have quite a bit of a hot water when I need hot water and then there's young Ben who started this week for fit out pontoon he's done the electrics and he's doing all that that oh, pipey type stuff going into the bulkhead and and making sure the water the hot water that goes in there from the cold water goes into the chlorifier and then pushes itself somehow by the aid of a pump into the kitchen and then into where i'm stood the bathroom and also what he's doing is putting in the um the horn i've asked mark the horn i don't want some trouble my car lovely car the old horn me oh it's a bit embarrassing i wanted a horn don't worry he said this gives you some noise oh that's quite good and also ben's going to put up the uh the front light well that's 800 lumens it's a nice nice swift swift led type thing i'll show you later on on that and he's putting on these the side lights on the outside he's putting on the navigation lights the blue and the green no he's putting on the red and the green navigation lights i'm not sure which one goes where i think it's written on the light and as long as ben knows which one goes where really that's all that matters much about wearing hats but it's only been over the past two or three years that my head's starting to get a bit cold I'm probably starting to slow down a tad and um, so I need to wear a hat keeps the head warm so this week quite a bit of stuff's been going on this week the, the first fit of electrics has gone up this red and black stuff is for the LED lights all the blue stuff going down the boat underneath the gunnels here all the blue stuff hanging out now that's the 230 volt electricity coming on but down that end that's the business end where 
where all the junction boxes are going and all that sort of lighty type stuff that's going on down there. Now, bit of wiring, 600 meters worth of wiring's on the boat. Now that runs from one mil, which is used for the LED lights along the top, this red and black stuff, one's for positive and one's for negative, assumption. And the other, the other cabling that runs along the, either side of the boat along the floor. And there's also this blue stuff, which is the 230, um, 230 volt cable in for all the plugs that go on on the inside. I've not got lots of pluggy type stuff, to, but you know, enough. Television and kitchen stuff and cable. These things, these things are called saddle clips. And this is what generally to tie the cables up with. Disadvantage of this, of course, is you have to use, you have to use a screw to screw it in and you have to screw it in to the, uh, to the buttons and you can have these these cable ties and these are reusable cable ties which makes life a lot simpler if you've forgotten about a bit of wire as as has been done on the bottom of the boat and along, along under the gunnels you know, screw that in put the cable tie in put the cable tie in kind of like that screw it up and then you tie it off but the good thing about the reusable cable ties is you can reuse them the drama with that of course is you have to position your wiring loom find this cable and, and screw it in all that takes a little bit of time and a little bit of faff I want to talk about these rail clips these are a plasticky type, red plasticky thing. I'll put the link in the description. Just a U-bendy thing with some, I don't know, prongy things on the, on the side, you know, like, you know, arrow type stuff. And essentially, this bit of kit has saved him a day's work. The reason for that is simply because you can just put these anywhere where there's spray foam. And just a, Put this in where, you know, oh, where did this come from? Come from here. And um, just plug it in. Job done. But these rail clips, game changer. Game changer. Fantastic. I didn't have to do any of it, mind you. So, extra little bit of gen. Although you're using a 230 volt or a 12 volt system on the boat, it has what is known as a negative return going to a common earth. So, essentially, somewhere on this boat, don't know where, but there's a, a bolt that's been screwed in and, all the, and then touching the metal, that bolt's been screwed in and all the wiring, doesn't matter what it is, goes to that centre earth. Apparently, if you had a negative earth for the 240 volt and a negative earth for the 12 volt, it will cause a little bit of mayhem on the boat and starts to create a electrical current that goes around the boat and, and disintegrates the, the, uh, the steel. So you need a common, a common earth for a negative return. Those people who are bright on the tube that you've taught me an awful lot will will probably put that down into better English than what I've just said. And there is a 25 millimeter cable which runs the bow thrust at the front of the boat because, because it comes from, from that end to do that end type stuff. I'm not sure I've explained it particularly well. Um, so there we go. Oh, and also Mark's doing a bit of painting. Not Mark in the fit out pontoon, but Mark the painter. He's doing a bit of painting, painting the boards. Marcus has cut the boards. They're going on the bottom. The gunnels, the, that's where they're going. So then those boards are getting lacquered because that's like wood, oak wood on the bottom. 
And then, as I said last week, we've got the, the cream melamine MDF stuff going on the side here. And you know what? I think by next week, the, apparently the next week the boards will be up and it'll be a completely different feel to what's going on on the boat. And uh, again, I'm getting quite excited, aren't I? Yeah.